Hi, I'm Gohar Vardanyan, and this is Strings by Mela Sinets. In the next couple of videos, I'll be demonstrating the very basics of playing red stroke scales. Many guitarists approach scales differently, and this is what I found to be helpful when trying to achieve accuracy, clarity, and speed. So to start from the very beginning, what you want to do is to position your right hand to play red stroke on the first string with your I and M fingers. When positioning your hand, make sure that you're not too far back so you can't reach the first string with your eye finger and not too far down from where you can't play red stroke. So find that middle ground where your hand is naturally curved and you can easily do red stroke. Your thumb, uh, be aware of where, where it is because you don't want it to be too far back where your hand is forced to be open and you can't be too close because that'll prevent you from easily doing red stroke on the, on the first string. So for me, the natural place is the fourth string if I'm going to be playing a prolonged scale on the first string. You're not going to be pressing on the thumb and you make sure that you don't insert it too far in between the strings. Really it's just there touching the string so that it's not out in the middle, um, not touching anything. So it's there for a reference. Then you're going to think of your I and M fingers as if they are marching on the first string. And let's say we're going to do eight times on the first string. What you want to make sure you're doing is you're hitting the string and you're clearing the string quickly and resting on the adjacent one. Make sure that you don't repeat a finger so you're always alternating, so don't repeat. Always alternate. The next thing, make sure you're not dragging the string, dragging your finger along the string. You don't want to be feeling out the string as you're playing. That actually prolongs the amount of time you're spending on the string and it wastes time and energy in between the strokes. So this is what you don't want to do. Don't, don't feel out and drag your fingers. You want to hit it quickly. And the next, the, the last thing from the very basic stroke, make sure that you're not lifting the finger after each stroke. You want to strike the string, rest on the adjacent string, then when the next finger plays, that's when the, the previous finger lets go. So when I play with I, it rests on the adjacent string, then it waits there until M plays, and lets go, then the next one, and so on. That way you are not doing any extra in between the strokes. You're not wasting the energy and you're not wasting time. trying to speed it up, if you're lifting off, your hand is going to start bouncing and you're going to be wasting that time where both your fingers are off the string. If you're remaining on the string, then when you speed up, there is nothing slowing you down. And also the other thing, if you don't drag your finger, by dragging it you're also slowing yourself down. So you want to make sure that your attack is very accurate and clean and fast. Doesn't matter how slow you're playing actual attack is quick. So in the next videos, after mastering the basic strokes, we'll go over what to do with the thumb when you're switching strings and what to do with the other fingers and how to cross from string to string.